Hello my lovely people, you're welcome back to my channel. I greet you according to your time and according to the time you are seeing this video. How are you doing? I hope you are good. We are still on the Gs from the palace of Oni of Ife. My people, this time around, Wahala deal. Wahala day too much. In short, Oni of Ife is not happy at all, at all. But my question is, how can such a thing be happening in, uh, in the kingdom? Because... Uh, there are there are some certain things that we don't need to hear that even attempted to happen. Talk more of happening, because as I'm talking to you right now, Oni of Ife is very 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 angry and is scattering everywhere, both the Oloris and the palace everywhere with anger. How can Oni of Ife's protective charms be missing in the palace of a, a, a palace where cis women live? I know that these women, these women, they don't really love Oni of Ife. They are just in that palace to answer Ogunwisi and to parade themselves as queen. Yes, although eh, it, it has been alleged that there are women in that palace that their mission in the palace is to make sure that they dethrone Oni of Ife from that throne. But... God forbid, it's not going to happen. It will not happen at all, at all. So my people, according to what we are hearing right now, we heard that there is this uh, protective charm that Tony of Ife used to wear. And this charm, you know, as a first-class monarch and a, in that throne, there are a lot of forces that is fi uh, fighting Oni. And it's for, for him being a king, it's not easy for him to... So there is this charm. They say that it is seven charms that he used to wear. And those charms are meant for protection. So wherever he is going, he will wear the, the charms. That because they are seven, you cannot wear one without the other. You cannot wear six without the seven to one. You see? So there is no how you are going to wear any of these any one of the charm without the charm being complete. So we are hearing right now that Oni of Ife is looking for one of the charm, that is the seventh one. And the worst part of it is that had it been he can wear any of the charms without other, we can say that let him wear the seventh, the sixth one, at least the sixth one will protect. But the worst part of it is that this, if you wear the sixth one without the seventh, it's as good as you are not wearing anything. And you people know that, according to what we heard, though, that there are five ruling, uh, maybe five ruling families in that uh, in their uh, in Ileife. And these ruling fa families now, they are fighting. Some of them, they may be fighting Oni of Ife to make sure that Oni of Ife did not last in that throne, so that. When he did not last, they themselves will now take over. You see? And the worst of it all is that because of that ruling families, they have two people that Oni of Ife is marrying from different from these different five families in that same palace. Some of them like Ronke and the Ashley. Mm -hmm. So they are from this di different families. So you know, say so we used to hear that Ronke is uh, is from a royal family, and the same thing with uh, uh, Ashley. So they are they are from these different families that is uh, called royal family in that Ilefe too. So and they are not happy because only of Ife is in that throne. Had it been is their own family that is ruling now, you know, say so they will be more happy. And considering the fact also that Oni of Ife have said that they are going to leave the palace just for Queen Nomi to come back. And considering also that Queen Nomi is not from a royal family. Although the, as, for the virtue of her being married to Oni of Ife, she's not royalty. Mm -hmm. But she's not from royal family as we heard. And that is why they despised her from the beginning. They were saying that she's nobody. Why will Oni of Ife go and marry somebody that doesn't have class? And they were insulting her. But now... God have made her to have class. In short, her own class is more even uh, great and higher than both those people that came from royal family. Money, money cannot be everything. Money cannot save life. 
Money cannot connect you to God. Yes, money cannot give you grace. Now God will give you grace. As God don't give you me grace. So, so the, the main cocoa for this matter be say, only of you is very, very angry, scattering everywhere with anger. Scattering every olori with anger that they should provide that you know, uh, seventh charm that is missing. You see, yo, I don't know why all these things are happening. You see, they are really doing what they have to do, what they are, what they, what they are thinking in their nonsense mind to know if they can stop Oni of Ife. Because they are, if a priest don't come for the palace before, come talk, say there are two people in that palace. Two people, oh, you see, two people in that palace that is trying to know if they can deter Oni of Ife. And look at what we are just saying. We have different uh, royal families in that same palace. Anyway, me, I not I not call anybody's name, oh. But I'm just saying what I'm hearing from the social media there. So my people, the worst of it all is that each of the charm is being uh, pro uh, provided with. Okay, they said that the, each of this charm took one month to get it to get it prepared. That is, each of the charm took one month to get one of them prepared. So if I, if anything should happen to this. Had it been now that, that, that they are not able to find the other seven to one, it will take seven months again to get seven charm again. And you know what it means? Only if he is not going to be going out for uh, programs that he will be having this season. And you know that this is a season of activities, a season of a season that only if he don't, don't need to stay at home. He have a lot of program to attend to, a lot of meeting, a lot of so many things. So he's very, very angry. My people, oh, I don't know what you have to, what you people are saying in this matter. Oh. Maybe they put this man for prayer. May God they help him, help Oni of Ife, because this is the only reason the palace they don't they don't love this man. Okay, Oni of Ife have called all of the lawyers and saying that they should provide that charm. If that if they cannot provide it, that all of them are going to swear. You can remember the last time there was a time they swore uh, using uh, a corpse. Yes. But this time around, if there is any other thing that will be very, very serious, that will even affect them immediately after the after swearing, Oni should provide it. Well, we heard that Oni of have consulted a far priest from different places, saying that they are going to swear, whoever that took that. But they said, people are saying that it may be Ashley, because it is Ashley that is that have the power to touch some certain charms. This is the same Ashley that is uh, seen as the priestess in that palace. But people are saying that Ashley is not around this time around. Who could it be? Who could that be that have took that charm from Oni of Ife's chamber? Because that person might have planned it. And because I know that Oni of Ife cannot be keeping such charm carelessly. So my people know, I don't know what you have to say. I don't just know. These things are hitting Oni of Ife up. It is really eating him up, if actually it is true. That is because I used to tell you that they are all alleged information. No. So my people, I don't know what you have to say. Whatever you have to say, just drop it at the comment section. And bear in mind that they are all alleged information. No. But if we really, we really need to put this man in prayers so that God will continue to help him. Thank you so much for listening. And please subscribe to my channel if you are yet to subscribe. Bye. I love you guys.